Before I begin, I need to discuss something that's followed me my entire life and I didn't know what it was until tonight. I was watching a video called The Taboos of Science. I show Taboos of Science. He mentioned a doctor by the name of Semmelweis. I hope I pronounced that right. It's been a long time since I took German. This was a doctor who suggested at the hospital that he worked at that he had noticed that there was a high mortality rate among newborn infants and mothers of newborn infants. He suggested that there must be something on the doctor's hands uh, that they were transmitting from one patient to another. And he suggested that doctors wash their hands. Well, he was branded a crackpot and the doctors felt personally butthurt and insulted that he would dare to suggest that they were dirty. Uh, he was basically drummed out of business. He ended up in a mental institution and he died. It wasn't until a few years later that Louis Pasteur discovered germ theory. And of course, Semmelweis was completely vindicated, but dead. Uh, this happens a lot in science, I noticed. Well, this is a um, theme in my life that I've never spoken of before because I didn't want to feed any possible grandiosity on my part, delusions of grandeur or anything like that. I didn't want to end up delusional because I was having these episodes of realizing that I was seeing things that people weren't seeing. I don't mean uh, visual hallucinations. I mean that I could reason through things that other people just weren't able to see. This happened recently with my video on patriarchy when uh, some little sniveling whiner got a hold of it and made some sort of video that the title was very derogatory and disrespectful. The guy is not a healthy person and is obsessed with particular women that he likes to say horrible things about. So I didn't watch the video, but one of my viewers uh, told me about it, and as soon as I saw it was the guy, I turned it off. This guy, of course, didn't bother to um, even let me know that he'd made the video, of course, because I'm subhuman, because I don't have a penis. <laughs> anyway, so a horde of these little fanboys came over to my video on patriarchy. Oh, they thought they'd shock me by talking about... Uh, I better not say this on YouTube. It's not that I'm ashamed or embarrassed, but I don't want to be considered obscene. Anyway, various wardrobe accessories and accoutrements, shall we say, to the, um, shall we say, kink community. That was supposed to frighten me or shock me or repulse me or... These young pups that think they invented sex and they know what's what. <laughs> or calling me epithets regarding my genitalia. Calling me an old coot. Like, I don't know that I'm old, right? I don't know that I'm female. I don't know that I'm considered physically ugly. And therefore, sexually unattractive to most of the sheep who look at the commercials and think that's what they're supposed to stick it in. Or I don't know that I'm fat. I don't know that I have missing teeth. I don't know any of this, right? This is to be offended and butthurt. I could care less. See, I run my channel like, um, like I would run my house if I were having a salon or a block party and people are welcome to come over and use the facilities and bring a potluck dish and sit around and talk, crack a beer, play with the pets, make little videos, whatever. That's, that's how I run my channel. It's not a public toilet. You don't get to come into my home, piss on the rug, smear your poop on the walls, get a good laugh for tearing up my bed uh, and violating every corner of my living space and walk out again after demanding all the attention and sucking all the air out of the room. Look at these little fanboys coming over to my channel and I don't know them. I don't want to know them. They don't want to have a conversation. Oh, they have swallowed the Kool-Aid from the anti-woman crowd. I'm not going to call it MRAs or against atheism plus it. They're anti-women. They're anti-women crowd. They listen to these videos with great devotion. Their little catechism on how to hate. 
and they tried to pull every trick in the book on me and I really didn't care. What were men of your generation doing? Were they going off to war? Yes, and women and children were dying in the millions. Not to mention the women left at home and the children left at home and these men coming back basically in baskets with post-traumatic stress and guns and addiction issues and yeah that's what came home to us yeah if they came home at all you know these little cliche things about well they cut off part of my genitals yeah and why did they do that have you ever really thought about the judeo-christian history of the fear of sexuality and the codification of the demand to control sexuality to the point where having normal sexual urges and normal sexual sensations was considered sinful have you thought about that and have you thought about what that means regarding those religious authorities outlook on females and you tell me there's no patriarchy dude they cut your penis and you tell me there's no patriarchy wow gee well there were a few people who were above and beyond the pale either they were just vile little pinches that aren't worth they aren't worth my time I, why make me click to go over there and look at the comments and just see a baboon throwing poop please if that's the best you can do if that's your articulate argument you don't belong on my channel blocked so I don't know I, there was oh, over a hundred comments on that video and I think six or seven hundred views and a bunch of dislikes and fanboys they came over in a horde to harass me and you know what happened atheism plus you should pay attention to this I ignored them and you know what happened it petered down I've got two in my inbox now it died it died out in a matter of hours maybe two days at most died down to nothing these are children these are chimps they're not worth the time I'm not gonna get on a free thought blog and start screaming so-and-so called me a cunt what the hell's the point I've got more important things to do we've got a planet to save people I geez, I can't waste time on these children okay so I got a message I think it was today from some buddy I'm not even going to say what the name is with a little fake avatar not a picture of them not a picture of anything important just a picture of a mask and not the uh, Guy Fox mask but a white mask and black mustache black sunglasses and a black fedora and supposedly a real tough guy I guess gonna be real logical uh, you came over and left a comment on my channel and I don't remember what all he said but I was trying to have a logical and rational conversation with you about the issue I thought about it for a while I thought you know what I will write him back I'm gonna treat him as though he deserves respect I don't know what he did I don't know why I left a comment on his channel I don't even know that I left a comment on his channel he could be making that up out of whole cloth for all I know he didn't quote me or anything so I sent him back a PM and it said look I had a storm of abusive fanboys storm my channel because that smarmy guy decided to make an example of me or some such I don't know cuz I won't watch it based on the title alone and the fact he couldn't be bothered to notify me I have no idea who you are well that's the worst thing you can say to a troll cuz that's what it's about they got a suck tip they need attention and he'd made such an impression on me I had not a clue I have no idea who you are I have no idea why you were giving me homework because you don't explain why you sent the links by the way I didn't even look at the links I think it was advice on mental health smug little shit I do know that I've been inundated with smug arrogant prejudiced cruel nasty jerks who have attributed motives to me that aren't mine accused me of lying self-delusion mental illness and instability based solely on the title of my one video that has nothing whatsoever to do with them they didn't come in to engage in discourse they came to harass to verbally abuse to insult I don't know what you said that motivated me to comment to you 
Nearly 700 jerks swarmed that video, and it got over 100 comments, almost all of them rude, disrespectful, and gratuitously nasty. I despise arrogance and willful ignorance. I have no patience with it, given how I'm already forced to live and what I have to endure in total isolation in a fundamentalist rural town as an atheist and a queer. I'm not safe here. Hell, I don't even have running water or an adequate diet. I pull my own teeth. If any of those fanboys had any interest in who I am as a human, they'd know that. But all they saw was an ugly old woman they could call a cunt that they could attempt to provoke with unsolicited comments about cock rings and spiked cod pieces. You are just another of the horde to me. I have no idea who you are nor what you said. I take care of my own mental health and balance or I'll go psychotic. I have brain injuries. It's no joke. When I become unbalanced, I can kill. And this is really true. And I'm not threatening to kill him. I live here and I've got a asshole next door and I need to keep my cool so I don't go off and if that boy puts his hands on me one more time last time he punched me in the breast and I whipped him in the arm with a dog chain if he touches me again he's not going to be touching me again so it looks like a bunch of you just came for some cheap amusement at the expense of a person who dared voice an opinion they want silenced it took courage for me to make that video that's why my voice shook Oh, they also laughed at me for crying, you know. I wasn't really crying. I was just, my voice is shaking. I was nervous. I was talking about my, my body to a bunch of strangers, a bunch of men who are hostile to me simply because I hold an opinion. Of course, my voice shook. Nobody respected that from the fanboys horde. They tried instead to exploit that and all they knew about me, which was nearly nothing. I don't have a penis. I'm old. I'm not sexually attractive to them. I'm fat. I already know all that shit. It was nothing profound and certainly didn't contribute anything to rational discourse nor critical thinking. I have no time for mind games. I'm barely surviving as it is. Genius decided that he was going to write me back. But if I left a comment on his channel, I think this little smug, arrogant attitude would be a good reason if he pulled that crap in my comment section. Your response is vile. Please don't message me again. I wish not to hear how you have mental problems and are capable of killing people. I wish you all the best in your mental health and can't help but suggest you seek therapy. <laughs> At no time did I speak in such a rude, crass, and threatening manner as you have just done. What? I know this is probably not your true self. And I hope you find a better self in the future as, in my humble opinion, we are all in this together as HUMAN BEINGS in caps. So I think it has a little bit to do with that Simmelweiss taboo. This kid doesn't have a clue who I am, what my life experience is, not a clue. He's never even come close to being hungry or cold or having to walk 10 miles in the hot sun pushing a baby stroller full of groceries. He's never had to pull one of his own teeth. He's never had to sit in classes all day with that sanitary napkin garter pinching into his anus and pulling out his pubic hair. He's never been incested. He's never been raped. He's never been beaten so hard with his mother throwing his head around like a basketball that he has to live with brain injuries. He has no clue, and he has no interest in learning. He's afraid. He blocked me. I'm not dangerous, and I'm not repulsive and ugly. My circumstances are repulsive and ugly, and people don't want to look at them. That's why I get ignored and isolated. I'm not ugly. I'm not vile and filthy. My circumstances are vile and filthy. I have important insights, but I don't have a college degree, and I don't have teeth, and I'm not manicured and groomed. And I don't have the trendy wardrobe and credit cards. My hair gets messed up because I'm out in the weather, not protected in a vehicle. My shoes are practical and not shiny because I have to actually walk in them and work in them. Semmelweis. I see things before other people do. I just hope there's time. I know this sounds really arrogant, but in a lot of respects and, and frequently throughout my life, I've been ahead of my time.